Uh, so welcome to ESC Plus uh, with Jamie Davis and Victor Crone, who's representing Estonia at the Eurovision Song Contest. Um, Victor, Hello. welcome to London. Is, is this your first time? Uh, thank you, first of all. Yeah. And uh, it's actually my second time. Uh, oh. I was here like four or five years ago, uh, seeing a concert with uh, uh, Richard Marks. I don't yes. know if you know him. He was yeah, playing yeah. here. Uh, cool experience. It's uh, like, I know we're doing an interview. No one can see us right now, but yeah, yeah. yes, the view here is... It's amazing. I, I mean, funny enough, last year we were in uh, Ruby Bar, which is just down the road, uh -huh. and uh, I mean, we had a nice view of Leicester Square. But this this is ridiculous. This takes like. the price. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind a meal up here for for dinner or lunch time. It's quite incredible. Yeah. Um, I mean, what what's your favourite part of London since you've been this is since it's your second time? Well, Piccadilly Circus is always cool. Like that's the place to go, I guess. But but I, I actually, I, 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 you're going to be in Tel Aviv, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I will keep. Let's make it an interesting thing to keep it until Tel Aviv, because tomorrow I'm gonna be here and we're gonna do some more sightseeing. Mm -hmm. So I really wanna, because last time I didn't get the chance to really go around and like yeah. really see the the city. So, so uh, let's keep it for the listeners a bit. Uh. <laughs> yeah. uh, it must be it must be quite nice as well, you know, with with your job doing Eurovision. You know, you get yeah. to see a few places, meet people, maybe make friends for life as yeah. well. I think that's the like most like I wasn't expecting this like it seems like so genuinely gen, gen, genuinely genuinely yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. like everyone happy and everyone's like the si same thing it's all about music and like I'm really yeah I'm humbled and happy to be here as you said <laughs> to see all of this different I was in Tel Aviv last week and yeah. now here and the only thing is that you like you, you yeah the sleep you just have to like come on man this might be once in a lifetime. So, yeah. <laughs> I know. I know what you mean, though. When you're doing something, that's quite a crazy experience. You, the last thing you want to do is go to sleep. You yeah. feel like you're wasting yeah. good time there. Yeah. This uh, and yeah. I guess you've been doing this. You said you did it uh, last year. Uh, Lisbon last year. Yeah. yeah. That was my first one. Oh. Yeah. So it is. It is. It a, seems like you guys have a lot to do as well. So. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> anything to anything to avoid a proper job, I guess. But, you know, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that's how I'd say. Anyway, don't know about the rest of the media, maybe. <laughs> uh, um, now. It's actually you've got quite an interesting background because you're from Sweden originally, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, now Sweden, you, as you will be of course aware, you know that they, they have Malfest and then they oh, yeah. obviously have the uh, big, big uh, entry as well. Production. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, Sweden. We all love them because of ABBA, because of their Eurovision entries. Yeah. You know, do you spend a lot of time still in in Sweden? Yeah, I I, I actually like I still have my apartment in. Sp in Sweden, sorry, yeah. uh, but like the past few months I've been living in Estonia yeah. and I've been doing like, I've been going back and forth for the last three years. I met Stig Resta who uh, I yeah. wrote the song with in yeah. Sweden and then he invited me over and I've been going back and forth ever since, writing songs to me and to other Estonian acts. But uh, I, I think like I, I was in Melody Festival in 2015. Uh, it's kind of hard to compare. I was a bit younger then, yeah. as you said. I have shorter. I had that's actually from, from around that time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, and this time I won. But but I think I was uh, way more like I guess shy back then, like because yes, yeah, you know, it's a big bubble. It's so yeah. intense, and uh, uh, I think I took it too serious. Like now I'm just trying to have fun, <laughs> meet people like you, and just chat. Uh, what, what, would you do Malfest again in the future, do you think? Because, as you say, you've learned a little bit in, in the last four years. Yeah, well, well, I don't know. Let's see. I haven't thought about it. Let's do the Eurovision Let's right get now. this one out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, who knows? Maybe. Uh, I think that with the storm, it was so like natural. I was writing the song with Stieg, and I would, like, I've been working there for the past three years. Mm. So I'm a bit surprised still that the Estonian, like, wanted me here because I'm a Swede and yeah, yeah. I'm very grateful and happy for it uh, but yeah it's, it's funny because I mean countries like San Marino had I think last year they would have someone from Malta and someone from maybe Italy yeah. to, to represent them as well I mean obviously San Marino is a small country but yeah. at the end of the day you know you, you must you, you look at Estonia and you probably think oh it's my second home now you know yeah yeah oh yeah yeah it's serious like, like I said I've been I, I like not 50-50 but 60-40 yeah. For sure, I've been like 40% being in Estonia, yeah. 60% being yeah. in Sweden. So it actually really feels like home. And I, I don't know if you've been to Estonia, but they no, have a lot of. Been. Have you been to Sweden? No, never been. Oh, okay. <laughs> then we can't relate. I'm so uncultural. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's quite like it's similar for those who know. Like we we have the nature and the close to the sea, and like, I guess we're kind of similar in the way we are as well. Yeah. So 
and obviously we're close to each other and we have a lot of actually if you look into it Estonia and Sweden have a lot of history together oh, really? yeah oh, really yeah so. right, I'll have to, have to have a look I have to look oh, yeah. up I didn't know that yeah, yeah. Um, okay so that's uh, we've got a few quick fire questions I've asked some of the other acts fire okay uh, so yes just, and no just yeah pretty, pretty much so just, okay. just what other acts have gone through as well just so the fans can learn a little bit more about oh, yeah? you um, if you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life what would it be Fondue. 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 Yeah, fondue. Is that, is is that, that how you say it? Is that fondue? I've, I've never heard of it. <laughs> fond, 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 fondue. fondue. Is fondue. it fish food or something like no, that? No, it's or? like uh, it's like this 80s dish that you have a, like a, uh, a round thing that you put in your... You take your... You pick different... Uh, damn, this English is not good. <laughs> <laughs> you pick whatever you want and you put it in a... Like a... Uh, on a plate or yeah and you, you fry it and then you take it out and like oh, fondue yeah, I think I mean we might call it differently she, but you I, have cheese fondue and you have yeah, meat yeah, yeah. yeah. apparently you, we, we have stuff where you can fry Mars bars which Mars really, bars yeah 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 okay, I've never tried it thinking, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I can't imagine how bad it would be let's for say you, let's say like this noodles noodles that's like the when I was young always noodles <laughs> like easy fast those are, those are my uni days yeah, yeah. Yeah. noodles every day yeah. um, dream place I mean well you've seen quite the world haven't you dream place to live Oh, there's plenty. As of now, I would, wouldn't mind to live in Tel Aviv, actually. Oh, really? I, yeah, last week. was I was there last week, and it yeah. was amazing. Like, very nice. Uh, but I feel, yeah, let's say Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv. Yeah. Um, if you had one million pounds, oh. what would you do with it? I have to calculate that to Swedish cars. Uh, <laughs> well, I would probably pay all my debts yeah. from my house and stuff. Uh, and uh, I, will take, I would take a, a vacation. Yeah. To some beach, Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv. Yeah. Uh, keeps coming back, time. doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I probably would uh, bring all the guys who have been working with, like the Estelal and the Eurovision and my family and friends. Because even though I'm alone on stage, there's uh, actually, it sounds so obvious, but it's a lot of like behind it as well. So yeah. I would yeah. probably bring all of them to have a big party. Oh, fantastic. Maybe rent this place. <laughs> have a good view. Yeah, good view. Yeah, oh, yeah. God, this would be a great party. Yeah. Well, it feels like a party. Yeah. Um, Okay, if not music, what would your second career choice be? It would have probably been ice hockey. I was playing oh, ice hockey. Right. Yeah. As I say, because Sweden, in, in Sweden, ice hockey is massive, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. like the, one of the biggest sports. Yeah. Mm. And I was practicing it quite hard. Like, not hard, but a lot. Uh, yeah. Like six, seven times a week. And I had to make a decision back then because I was going to the US and doing music there. And stuff. Yeah. So, uh, but it, definitely. Ice hockey. So uh, I, I would. I don't know how far I would have got, but it's. But it know. seems cool to say now. Like it would be in the NHL. NHL. <laughs> Who's your team in the NHL? Uh, I have uh, probably New York Rangers. So is mine. Oh, I was yeah. gonna. I mean, I was worried you were gonna say Boston Celtics because oh, no. I know quite a few people who oh. go to the Boston Celtics. Those guys, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, then uh, icon or hero who, who inspired you to go down the music path? Well, I think there's a lot of like small like things that made me do music. I remember my father playing vinyls when I was a kid with oh, Beatles yeah, and yeah, 10CC yeah. and Kinks and yeah. all these cool like bands. But, uh, I don't know, my, my family has always been very supportive in like, not to like go for music as a career, but like have music in your life because you can always have it, even when you're 80 or 90, you can always yeah. have fun with it. Like that's the difference with hockey. You. At one point, you have to quit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And, and at a very young age as well. In any most sports, isn't it? Really? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Very weird. Um, uh, next one. Would if you got given the ability, yeah. would you live forever? No. No. We've oh. had quite a few of them saying no as well. But uh, like, I would. I enjoy living life, but. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, that's a that's a hard question, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, what animal would would you want to be? Oh, even harder. <laughs> I, I guess the most common is a bird. Com yeah, bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah it has bird. been. Freedom. But, yeah, yeah, but why not a lion or something like a that? A lion? Yeah, yeah. I'll, get, I'll keep away from you if you're yeah, a lion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I guess, I mean, there's a lot of fun facts about you, but can you give me a fun fact about you that maybe no one else knows? That no one else knows. Well, you got the noodles thing. I'm oh, a the big noodles, fan noodles thing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I played poker with, uh, he's not lying, but I played poker with Minimi from oh, Austin Powers. Yeah, oh. I still think I still think that's a pretty cool thing. It was a fun <laughs> night. I did lose. Oh, okay. yeah, but I mean, you had to, didn't you? You had to let him win. Well, he put out this little finger, you know, and I was like, oh, he's got it. And I folded. 
I was going to say his poker face must be very oh yeah, very yeah. Difficult. he knows his stuff yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and to wrap it up um, any messages for your fans in Estonia America or Sweden yeah to everyone yeah. thanks for the support I guess and uh, so you know I'm having a lot of fun like and I hope to the guys who uh, root for the song I hope to make you proud and uh, for those who doesn't I hope to uh, switch you to the good side to the strong <laughs> side <laughs> hey you probably will um, um, Victor thank you very much for your time thanks for having um, me enjoy the party enjoy, I will. enjoy the sightseeing tomorrow I will. and uh, enjoy Tel Aviv in a few weeks time thank you